Hello and welcome back to my channel. Glory to Jesus, honor to Mary and Joseph. Pope Francis leaves the Gemelli Hospital on April 1, 2023 in Rome after being discharged following treatment for bronchitis. The 86-year-old pontiff was admitted to Gemelli Hospital on March 29 after suffering from breathing difficulties. Pope Francis left hospital on Saturday after a three-night stay to treat bronchitis, stopping to say hello to well-wishers and joking he was still alive. The 86-year-old pontiff, who was admitted to Rome's Gemelli Hospital last Wednesday with breathing difficulties, got out of the car, transporting him home, and smiled and joked with the crowd. Asked by someone how he felt, he quipped twice with a big smile, I am still alive. You can see him saying that inside the car. This person that shook him asked him how he felt leaving the hospital. He just said twice, I am still alive. As the crowds clapped, Francis headed off to the Vatican to begin preparations for Holy Week and Easter, the most important week in the Christian calendar. The pontiff felt unwell Wednesday after a general audience in St. Peter's Square, but his condition improved after he was given antibiotics. This photo grabbed, a video, grabbed from a video taken and handed out by the Vatican Media on March 31, 2023, shows Pope Francis baptizing a baby boy named Miguel Angel while visiting children at the oncology ward of the Gemelli Hospital in Rome, the same hospital where the Pope was admitted to another ward on March 29 for bronchitis. On Friday, the Pope visited the Children's Cancer Ward at the hospital, handing out chocolate Easter eggs and even baptizing a weeks-old baby boy, according to a video published by the Vatican. Vatican spokesman Matteo Bruni said, Pope Francis had been working earlier on Friday in the hospital's private papal suite on the 10th floor and catching up on newspapers. On Thursday night, he ate pizza with some hospital staff. The Argentine Pope confirmed on Saturday he will preside over Palm Sunday Mass in St. Peter's Square, the start of a busy week of events leading up to Easter. Francis' hospitalization was the second time since 2021 when he underwent colon surgery, also at Gemelli. His increasing health issues over the past year have sparked widespread concern, including speculations that he might choose to retire rather than stay in the job for life. Visitors to St. Peter's Square on Friday expressed relief over his recovery. I was afraid for the Pope, said one 56-year-old Italian tourist who gave his name as Davide. But I'm happy he's better, that he's returning. For believers and for Catholic community is important, he added. Francis marks 10 years as the head of the world, world, worldwide Catholic Church earlier this month. He has pushed through major govern, governance reforms and sought to forge a more open, compassionate church, although he has faced internal opposition, particularly from conservatives. He, ha he has repeatedly said he will consider stepping down where his health to fail him, where his health to fail him, but said last month that for now he has no plans to quit. During Palm Sunday Mass, Pope Francis is expected to remain seated while another cleric, probably a senior cardinal, conducts the ceremony at the altar. The Vatican, citing medical staff, said on Thursday that Francis had been diagnosed with infectious bronchitis requiring antibiotics and that the treatment had brought about a marked improvement in his state of health. The Gemelli Hospital is the favored choice of pontiff to the point of being dubbed Vatican III by Pope John Paul II, who was treated there in Germany nine times and spent a total of 153 days there. A Jesuit whom, who seemed most happy being among his flock, Francis continues to travel internationally and keep a busy schedule. But he has been forced to use a wheelchair 
and a walking stick in the past year because of knee pain and admitted last summer that he had to slow down. He said on Thursday he was touched by the many messages he was receiving in hospital, thanking on Twitter those praying for his recovery. We continue to pray for the recovery and strong health of Pope Francis. Thank God.